Hi Reese, thanks for coming down to Catmo to talk to us today, uh, especially after last night, which I'm sure you're still disappointed was a 2-1 defeat away to Air United. Can I get your, your thoughts on the match please? Yeah, it wasn't the best the games we've played, but uh, it was our own fault for the first 20-25 minutes. We, we never really got the ball down, every time we got it, it was just a big lump over the top or we gave it away or stupid decisions and then we never really got into the second balls. But after that, when we got the ball down and started playing, we started creating a few chances, but then they got a free kick, a silly free kick, ball down the line, and then they crossed it in, and uh, we've conceded a penalty, and they've scored, and made it 1-0, and then um, I thought, big big Nathan's uh, red card was a wee bit harsh, but uh, that took us down to 10 men, and then I, I equalised, and uh, there were only 10 minutes to go or something, or something. so I thought um, I made a sec- maybe secured a point for the team, but and then... They've uh, just ran down the park, ran down the line, crossed the ball in. Uh, somebody's been pushed and conceded another penalty, so uh, it's extremely disappointing to um, lose the three points to the to two penalties. Mm-hmm. You mentioned the, the red card. Do you think that was harsh, Nathan? I thought he played the ball myself. you think it was a, a harsh decision maybe to get a red card at that point? Ah, it was a really harsh decision, in my opinion. Um, I think the ball went the totally opposite way, but we just need to move on from it. Nothing we can do now. And that's the thing, you responded really well because from going down to 10 men and losing a player, you just went neat wise. You get the goal, can you talk me through the goal? You must have been pleased with that. I, um, Ando had the ball on the line, I think, and uh, he's just crossed the ball in, sort of an air player, and then it's felt with Xander, and I think Xander's just flicked it in, and it's just the ball's just come up, and I've just headed it as hard as I could, and it's just looked over the keeper and hit the bar and went in, so I was pleased. That point, you're probably thinking you've got the point, and you probably deserve the point as well. You think you've got that, and that probably adds to the disappointment. Then, as I think it's about five minutes later, he's conceded the penalty. I, I think the third result in the end was a would have been a draw because as soon as we went down to 10 men, we played extremely well, especially without a man, and we, we really attacked. But then the penalty was just just silly, silly, silly decisions from us. But there's nothing we can do, we just need to move on in the next game, try and win. Please, with the goal though, for yourself. I am pleased that I was. I'm always pleased to get a goal, my second goal for, for Mark number 20, so I was good to get my score sheet. Header as well? Is that uh, aye, rare? Aye, aye because uh, we always, at training, we always work on set pieces, headers. Darren Marr always tells us to get aggressive and go on a header, so I just got a header, it's extra special. I mean, last night as a defeat, but he's learned for these things. But the other thing is, you've been in good form um, of late. It's particularly, there was the St Mirren Scottish Youth Cup game. I know that's something you'd enjoy as a as someone who actually you started your youth career at St Mirren, you've come here. Did you enjoy that game? How do you reflect on that now? Uh, it was a brilliant game. Uh, I've played um, St Mirren previous with Morton uh, after I left with 17s, 15s, but well, I've actually never won. And um, the experience was just nothing compared to what it was in the Youth Cup when we won 3 1. And nobody expected to, to go out there and win it so comfortably. All the boys were saying to each other that imagine we won in that, just having a laugh. And then we went and won three one comfortably. It was good to um, get an assist for the third goal for Ben Arm. Yeah, it was a very intense game as well. It was a derby, basically. It's a derby. How did uh, you enjoy that? Did you relish that getting uh, it was brilliant man, three red cards and everything. It's just it was, it was a crazy game. <laughs> Absolute crazy man. Um you've been involved here since under fourteens now. Um you signed your first professional contract in the summer there, that's a two year development deal. How you find it? How you enjoying it? You're getting quite regular game time for somebody that's just come up for 17s. You're doing really well. How's things going? Yeah, it's great. It's thanks to Darren Ball for that. Um, I was talking to my dad about this when I was in 17s and talking about coming up and talking about how I just need to keep my head because I thought I was going to get five, ten minutes every game. But I've come up and I've secured a spot in the team and I've been getting 90 minutes regularly, so it's been good for me. It's been good for my development. And what's the re- uh, ambitions for the rest of the season? Is it just to keep your place, keep progressing? Because you've got another year after yeah. this as well, is that? Just, uh, to just to keep my place in the 20s team and then try and move up to the first team whenever the gaffer thinks I'm ready. Brian Reese, thank you very much. Well done on your goal last night. Unfortunately with the result, but keep going, you're doing well. Thanks. Brilliant.